Hey YouTubers, KB here with a great review of Frozen Synapse, which is actually a conversion from a PC game that came out nearly two years ago and now available for the iPad and the iPhone. Uh, this purchase is actually a $6.99 game for the iPad, which is a very steep price for a mobile game, I believe, but I was just a big fan of it when I bought it on Steam. So I go ahead and picked it up to show it off to you guys. Check it out. As you see here, we, there's a, a smorgasbord of tutorials to go through, which I have and did watch a couple, but I know the very basics from playing the game a number of years ago. The, another cool thing is you're able to play uh, versus someone that is in the same room as you, as I'll just demonstrate here. Um, and you just pass the iPad back and forth uh, for that process, which I haven't tried yet, which I really do want to try. That's a really cool, neat aspect of the game. Uh, I'll log back uh, to the main menu here and uh, show you some of the uh, in-game stuff. Uh, a quick side note, this is somewhat of a difficult game to master due to the various different situations and the AI is sometimes like crazy aimbot crazy yeah you'll see in some of the gameplay like I think I lose two matches and I win the last um, but I just want to show off the gameplay the physics and the more or less the challenge and the awesomeness overall of the game uh, as you see here, I'm just creating a random match at the moment, selecting from the various different uh, categories that you have. You have a machine gunner, sniper, shotgun, a rocket guy, and a grenadier. And this is the screen you'll be staring at the most. This is the, called the planning phase, in which you select, which is the green guys are my guys, and I can select them to run to a certain location, crouch, engage, do various things to get around the map um, to be able to engage the targets. The trick of the game is I don't know what the other enemy is going to do so I kind of have to watch all my angles and so forth. As you see I'm positioning my sniper as far as away from the other uh, enemy as possible to get the greatest distance between them because he's a sniper so he's much lot more long distance accurate shot. You can see the walls and then the half walls that are kind of see through with glass and I totally forgot where I'm running my sniper to is actually not a wall it's actually a glass uh, cover where they're able to shoot through and, and actually see you so I didn't know that until I finished the round so wasn't really quite late paying attention to that. And you see here I'm playing out my simulation for that particular person. It works in five second intervals for per turn. The average match maybe will last three to four turns, four being the max a lot of the time, which is basically 20 seconds. Um, but you'll spend around six to five minutes playing a match depending on the difficulty and the layout of the map. Right here I'm playing with my shotgun dude. Try to get the other shotgun, try to get the peak and the jump on him, which I didn't feel too confident. I probably should have looked through the window to the doorway at him just to make sure and bring my machine gun around to cover my butt that way. I'm positioning him to engage as soon as he hits the doorway and to look down uh, down the other corridor. And I have my rocket guy who's just literally just going to blow the wall up and hopefully collect splash damage to kill that guy. As you see in the simulation right there, he's not going to have enough time to react to my rocket shot. Uh, and then I'm on my uh, another machine gun. I'm going to make him look out the window to engage the shotgun individual. I feel pretty happy, but about this circumstance situation, and we'll just see the outcome, which 
sometimes can be very terrible as you will about to witness. And you just tap the screen and you'll see the outcome of your current moves. See, the shotgun got the peak on my uh, other shotgun dude. My sniper did pick the guy way down there and I still don't know how the in the south the shotgun guy got my guy in the window um, so I watched it again as this he was watching the angle before I even got to the position so that can be uh, very challenging and frustrating at the same time but trying to master that um, now I'm trying to think I'm using everyone wisely to make sure that my next move is very important because they have two guys down south I only have one machine gun and one sniper left uh, so I'm going to be looking to see what I can do again this the structure my sniper is standing behind is not a wall it is a glass half wall thing which creates no cover which I honestly wasn't paying attention to so my guy is most is going to get slaughtered by the shotgun guy if and when he comes around that corner and thinking that I was secure I was just going to have my machine gun watch the corridor to try to pick if the machine gun would cross across the doorway um, to, to watch that angle um, and I also did forget to hit the engage button on my aim so he's probably going to get the drop on me yeah, I never hit the. I did get the lucky shot there. It was kind of a crazy spread, uh, but now since that shotgun did kill my sniper, because it is the glass uh, wall, I was getting afraid because there's two shot guys enemy left on the field, and I knew the shotgun downrange wasn't able to get me, so I was gonna watch the window on the other shot guy coming through but he literally peeks me first and I think I die instantly yeah one shot dead so I definitely lost that round it was my first round uh, first time playing the game on the iPad it was a lot of fun but let's jump into a later match which I kinda started getting the hang of it a little more um, by using the different uh, abilities more um, still learning. I should, probably should watch the tutorial videos again, but I really just wanted to jump in and play because I just absolutely just wanted to play, honestly. Being mindful again, um, this, is, this is a little bigger map. Um, I'm going to pre shoot the wall with my rocket dude to blow out the wall and create splash damage to kill that individual. As you see here, thank god I moved my Rocketeer out to cover my butt because the Grenadier is dropping a nade inside that little closed room. After my shot, I'm going to try to have my guy move to cover the corridor to try to make it take another shot uh, downrange where the sniper is because the walls will explode from the rocket. So I was going to keep an eye on that. My sniper did pick the guy through the window, which was a pretty crazy shot. I was very happy about that. Um, I had my shotgun guy kind of covering the short range and the two corridors coming up the middle. And now I'm positioning my sniper to see if he can actually get a shot through uh, the doorway there so the shotgun can just cover the window and the first door uh, in the middle. I'm going to try to position my machine gun kind of go down range a little bit if he needs to flank um, just to more or less to watch out uh, if uh, the AI tries to maneuver left or right instead of going right up the corridor which I suspected them to do but again this game did throw me a curveball and uh, ruin my plans so As you see that in the, in the second turn, their sniper actually picked me. Um, so that ended my sniper career right there really fast. Um, he got the shot on me first before I can get the aim up. Um, 
and then the sniper came right through the corridor and literally nailed my uh, machine gun immediately. Um, and I pre-fired my, my rocket guy the corridor and it wasn't a good outcome for that, there was no one there. Um, now I'm at the point where I'm just like, oh great, that nade's coming towards my machine gun um, and I'm trying to <laughs> see if it even has a chance to get out of line of sight to try to move my guy into safety to see if I even have the probability of getting out and surviving from that attack. Um, System primed. I'm gonna just try it here and see how it goes. Um, still in the learning process of this game completely. Um, again, the AI is very smart in this game. Um, as you see here, oh, <laughs> and right before their turn ended, the guy tosses an aid towards my rocket. Um, to try to get him out of the, the way of that projectile coming his way, which I do not think I actually complete. Um, I'm actually also worried about the sniper pushing up so close. I would think my shotgun guy would have a complete advantage over that. Um, but we'll see the outcome of that here shortly. What do you think about the soundtrack? I, I, the soundtrack really makes the game for me too. Very intense at moments and very calm when you're in the planning phase. As you see here, I lost the sniper, came back around and shot me there. It was not a good outcome. Here's a quick game which I actually won. Yes, I did win a game. Um, this was later after mastering and watching more of the tutorials which I highly recommend and this is just taking out the planning phases and going turn by turn to show you what I did instead of going into the, what I exactly did um, by showing engaging targets and actually aiming down predictable sites because you can actually see and predict their path by the which way they're turning and the way their guns pointing which I did fairly well here uh, I was kind of camping this little doorway here with my uh, machine gun guy waiting for people to come to me instead of moving and exposing myself I just pre-fired everything and kind of camped around which actually paid off for me and actually thinking a couple moves ahead um, but thanks for watching everyone make sure you like and subscribe I'll see you guys on the flip side peace